Hi, I'm Barb Reidenauer. And I'm Kathy Chipley. Delighted to be with Deerberg's special guest, Chef Paul Bazzetta of Sapore Italian Cafe. It's summer, Sicilian style, with my menu of involtini di polo and fragoli limoncello. In fact, our entire show is devoted to summer cooking. We'll show you how to beef up your barbecue. And you'll love our refreshing and unique summer salad ideas using the best of this season's produce. All this and more starting now. At Deerberg's, we don't have automotive departments. We have meat departments. With skilled meat cutters. That make all the difference. Our fresh USDA choice beef is prepared fresh daily in our stores. If you want a special cut, just ask me. Or me. Or me. Or me. We're here to help. Because when it comes to fresh meat, experience matters. Shop where it's freshest. It's fresh. It's friendly. It's Deerberg's. You'll find all the recipes featured on tonight's show and many more in Deerberg's Everybody Cooks magazine. Just stop by any Deerberg's for your free copy while supplies last. Welcome to Deerberg's Presents Everybody Cooks. Hi, I'm Barb Reidenauer. And I'm Kathy Chipley. Tonight we want to share with you some terrific recipes that are going to keep you cooking all summer long. All the recipes are in the June issue of the Everybody Cooks magazine that you can pick up free at any Deerberg's. And we want to start off by showing you how to beef up your barbecue. We have an idea for a quick weeknight dinner and also for some easy weekend entertaining. That's right. We're going to start with those busy weeknights. We're going to make burgers and fries all on the grill. The potatoes take a little bit longer, so we'll go ahead and get those started first. Sure. Just been cutting some Yukon Gold potatoes to about three quarter an inch piece. Now rather than heating up the kitchen with hot oil, we're gonna put these on the grill on one of these disposable grill pans. You'll find them in the grilling aisle at Deerberg's. They make it super easy. They're perforated, so they allow the heat to come through and the disposable makes cleanup super easy. Just spray that with some olive oil cooking spray. Okay. I'm gonna season it with some Montreal steak seasoning, salt, pepper, and a little bit of spicy heat. There we go. Now if you'll put the grill pan on a baking sheet like this, it'll catch the extra spices, makes it a little easier to transport too. Go. Slide it out and onto the grill. Now it's time for burgers. If you've noticed, every menu around is featuring sliders. They're hotter than ever. And Deerberg's now has their own signature sliders. We've got five terrific flavors, including black and blue cheese, chipotle cheddar, bourbon caramelized onion. There's even a plain for milder taste. Tonight we're making my favorite, applewood smoked bacon and cheddar. What's not to love? Because they're nice and little, they'll also cook really quickly. For a busy weeknight, you'll find these in the meat department. Heat up the grill, and they'll cook in no time. Now with sliders, you want the bun to be just as unique as the burger. So for these little burgers, I'm using the pretzel buns available at Deerberg's Bakery. They're salty, chewy, and they taste just like a pretzel. They're even better when they're toasted, so I put them on the grill during the last few minutes of cooking time for the burgers. I'll go ahead and pull those off now. And now your burgers are ready to assemble. They're small, so I'll make two on the tray and that'll make a serving. Of course, you wanna serve these with your favorite condiments. Be sure to include the aioli that's in the magazine. It's a Dijon aioli and super easy to make. Just light mayonnaise, Dijon, and some Montreal steak seasoning, just like we used on the potatoes. You can even make that the day before. Now we'll go ahead and check on the potatoes. Again, you'll use the baking sheet. Oh. Add some of those right alongside our little burgers, and we're good to serve. Looks delicious and smells good too. If you're looking for something that's just a little bit more special occasion, we suggest you try our beef petite shoulder tenders. And if you're not familiar with this, this is the second most tender cut, only second only to beef tenderloin. Now uh, it's um, also very lean and flavorful. It's very reasonably priced, and you can either cook it quickly on the grill as a whole roast or cut it into medallions. Either way, you want to look and see if there's any silver skin on the beef. And if there is, you just want to slide your knife under that and remove the silver skin. This is a membrane that will never get tender as it cooks and it sometimes will cause the beef to even curl while it's cooking. 
Now in the magazine we have several different recipes that you'll want to try with the beef. We have our uh, grilled ratatouille, which is a nice combination of vegetables right alongside the beef. We also have our gazpacho beef salad. That's an entree salad that combines the lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and it has the beef right over the top of it. But what I'd like to show you tonight is our double shot beef tender. And that's actually a double shot of coffee that we're talking about. For this recipe, I want to trim the ends off a little bit and then just cut the uh, beef into medallions. Now for this recipe, you're going to want both a spicy rub and also a sweet sticky glaze. And it's terrific that you can make these ahead of time, so it's a wonderful make-ahead recipe. And in fact, that's what I've done a little bit earlier. For the rub, what I did was I combined some brown sugar with garlic powder, salt, pepper, give it a little bit of kick with some ancho chili pepper, and the surprise ingredient is Deerberg's coffee. Now you can use either the whole bean or the ground coffee. Either one is going to give you just a really rich, wonderful flavor with the meat. And and you want to put it into either a coffee grinder or a little mini food processor and process it until it's nice and finely ground. Then I can just take that rub and I'm going to sprinkle it over both sides of the beef and it'll be ready to put it on the grill. Once you've turned the beef over, you're ready to add the sticky coffee glaze. Now this is just a glaze that I made out of Kahlua, which is a coffee liqueur along with a little bit of brown sugar and some Coca-Cola. I like to take a sticky glaze like this and just use a spoon to drizzle it right over the top. And in fact, you wanna be sure that you add this at the end so that it doesn't burn since it has such a high sugar content. Now with such a rich entree like this, you just need a very simple grilled vegetable to go alongside. So we made some kebabs. These are just the little mini peppers and they also are some um, summer squash. We'll let them cook right alongside the beef. You can go to Deerbergs.com and we have all kinds of instructions for how to grill vegetables right on our website. The beef is done. Now the secret to perfectly cooked petite shoulder tender is to not overdo it. You want to cook it to 145 degrees. That way you'll know that it's going to be still pink in the center and nice and juicy. I'm going to add just a little bit of the extra glaze because it's just so delicious. And when you combine that sweet sticky glaze with a little bit of heat of the rub, you're going to really enjoy this entree. Beautiful. Dinner time better come quickly. That smells very, very good. Yes. Now to round out your menu, we suggest a cool and refreshing salad. This is our melon and cuke salad. Easy Easy to put together. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll show you how we made the salad and we'll give you two other great ideas to round out your summer barbecue. And we have a special guest chef, Paul Bazetta, who's going to be here. He'll show us how to make a summer dinner Sicilian style. You don't want to miss that, so stay tuned. Get your grill on this summer with Deerberg's Grilling Cookbook. On sale now for just $9.95. This book is filled with lots of sizzling recipes and barbecue fundamentals. There are many reasons to shop at Deerberg's. The new low prices. I love the weekly ad specials. I just save money. I couldn't have said it any better myself. It's fresh, it's friendly, it's Deerberg's. 